Hi and welcome back to the channel. Lewis Hamilton has made yet another mistake last time out in Russia. He got a bad start off the line and I believe that the title pressure is now getting to him. First, let's have a look at Imola. After switching to the dry tyres after the rain, Hamilton was chasing down for Stappen. However, on lap 31, he made an uncharacteristic mistake. While coming up to lap George Russell, he went offline and then went into the gravel. He managed to keep it out the barrier and then he managed to find reverse and reverse the car and get back on track. However, by this time, he fell down the pecking order and was a lap down. What saved his race was the red flag. Under red flag conditions, lapped cars can unlap themselves. So he managed to unlap himself as the race restarted. Then he managed to work his way back up to P2. It was a fantastic recovery drive and he got fastest lap as well. Even though he made up for that mistake by coming back and finishing P2, without that red flag, I don't think he would have finished there. So the red flag really saved his race. Max was out of the race and was getting ready for the restart. Perez was on P1 and Hamilton in P2. Hamilton got off the good start and was leading turning into turn 1. However, while he was getting off to that good start, he flicked a switch which turned off his brakes. This meant he went straight on into the first corner's runoff while everyone else turned into turn 1. He then spun around and was dead last. On the weekend that Max got 0, he was on to win the race and get 25 points. However, he made that mistake of knocking that switch and he ended up finishing P15. Even as the race restarted, he came on the radio and said that this is a marathon, not a sprint, which made his mistake even more terrible as he got 0 points. He knew he messed up and he should have got 25 points when Max got 0. So that was mistake number 2. He started P1 and got off to a good start. He managed to take the lead into the corner while the carnage behind him happened. Then the red flag came out and they were all back in the pits. When the race actually resumed, it was a standing start. And when the cars were going back onto the grid to line up, he was the only driver not to come in for slicks. The track was dry enough for slicks and he stayed out there to take the standing start alone. It was one of the weirdest things I've seen in modern F1. He took the start on his wet tyres while the rest of the pack followed from the pit lane. He eventually made it back to the pit, but when he changed for the slick tyres and came out, he was dead last. He then managed to fight his way back up to P3, fighting through every driver he can as he was in dead last. So again, it was another good recovery drive. However, he should have gone on to win. Mercedes should have made that decision with Hamilton to come in for slicks as the rest of the field did. He was visibly tired during the ceremony as everyone could see and he had to go to see the team doctor afterwards. Also after the race, Vettel was disqualified in P2 so then he bumped him up to P2. However, as he was driving the car, he should have told the team that the track was ready for slicks as every other driver came in for slicks and he didn't and this ultimately cost him the race win and 25 points. Hamilton started P2 for the sprint race on Saturday. However, he got off to a bad start and went backwards. If he had got a good start and stayed P2, he would have just come behind Bottas in the sprint race and would have started on pole for Sunday's race and eventually gone on to win. However, that didn't happen as he went backwards during the sprint race and started P5. Mercedes looked quick the whole weekend at Monza and it was there to be won by Lewis Hamilton. However, he made another mistake by having another bad start. As mentioned, they were strong at this race and it was another 25 points gone. The crash with Max was no fault of Hamilton and I believe that it was Max Verstappen's fault 100%. Why I believe that and why I've him as a dirty driver can be found in the video that I've done in the link in the description. The weekend started off bad by him hitting his front jackman. This is the first time he had done this in his F1 career. He then hit the pit entry wall when he came in in qualifying, which obviously ruined his front wing, which the team had to change and obviously then affected his qualifying position where he started. And to also add insult to injury, he also had another bad start on Sunday's race and lost places at the start. He then went against his team when they told him to come in for inters. However, the team did inform him after that the rain would intensify. He then made the decision to come in for inters, which was the correct decision that won him the race. Most of these mistakes on the face of it just look like bad starts. So he can really just practice starts in the simulator or when they get to the race weekend on the track. But he definitely needs to work on this as he's been losing too many places at those race starts. The other mistakes look like a loss of concentration as well as him keeping his eye off the ball. He really needs to eradicate these mistakes if he is to win an A4 title and not hand it to Max Verstappen. All these mistakes as a whole all look like rookie mistakes and I feel this is because Max is getting to Lewis. Max doesn't play games outside the car. However, Lewis seems to be showing cracks and signs of mistakes as we've seen. I honestly think these mistakes can come down to him contracting COVID at the end of last year. COVID looked like they affected Hamilton a lot last year and going into this year as well. So he really is feeling the after effects going into this season and fighting for this year's championship. It's affected him physically and mentally when making decisions and racing when it comes to this season. He's made far too many mistakes in this season alone than I've ever seen him making a season. He's fought for eight world championships in the last eight years. I've never seen this amount of mistakes. However, he has been fighting his teammate in those eight years with the exception of Vettel one year. Like I said, some of these mistakes just look like rookie errors. Like the one in Russia 
when he hit the pit wall. He did this also in his McLaren rookie year, and arguably looking back, which cost him the 2007 World Championship. If he wants to defend his title and win that eighth world title, he needs to eradicate the mistake and make sure that he doesn't make any more moving forward. There's only eight rounds left of this year's championship, and he needs to make sure that every point matters. As Max doesn't play games outside the car, so Lewis has less pressure to deal with in that instance. However, if it was Vettel, Rosberg, or any other driver fighting for that world title, I believe they would be playing those mind tricks outside the car. So I feel like Lewis is getting away a bit lightly in terms of mind games outside the car this season. However, in general, I don't think these mind games ever affected Lewis. However, he looks vulnerable in terms of, you know, this season, how he's fighting, COVID and everything like that. Be sure to click the subscribe button below for more F1 news, analysis and opinion. Be sure to check out the social media links below. Also, don't forget to press the like button as it will help to push the channel out.